How much of your work week is spent in meetings? Meetings that you really don't want to attend. Have you ever sat in a long, long meeting where nothing discussed is of interest to you and all you can think about is how do you get out of there? Well, I have many times. I used to work for the world headquarters of a large Christian group, and, and it was a wonderful experience except for the meetings, meeting upon meeting, committee upon committee. And often I would sit in there and I would see my friends going towards a certain opinion that I didn't care about one way or another, but I'd be wanting to voice my concern because of them. Now let's talk about that because I want to tell you something that I learned to put on the file folders of those committee meetings that I was going to. It's called WIT with three T's. W-I-T-T-T. -T -T, WIT. And it stands for what is that to thee? And I would constantly look at wit on my file. What is that to thee? Before I opened my mouth, there were so many times that I didn't care one way or another about an issue. I opened my mouth and then I became the committee chairman. And I would be headed towards something that I didn't want to head towards at all. All of us want to be liked. And we know that if we disagree with others, they may not like us. Consequently, we find ourselves agreeing with ideas that we really don't agree with at all. You have a right to accept or reject another's thoughts. The problem lies in rejecting ideas that you don't agree on without becoming argumentative. With what you express springs from the depths of your own thoughts and your own convictions, and it usually will be respected by others. But many times it is best just to remain silent, especially when you're not caring one way or another. And if you take this one bit of advice in your business, in the meetings that you're going to, put wit on the file folder. What is that to thee? And when things really get boring, here is a way to have a spiritual experience. When things get boring, go to God. Go to God in prayer. Oh, you don't close your eyes and fold your hands. No, you look attentive, but you go to God in prayer. Changes everything. It even changes who you are in that meeting. You are so infilled with the Spirit that it reflects and fills the room and galvanizes the atmosphere. And you do much more than you would have done in that meeting by speaking with your human lips and human mouth, human consciousness. Many times you can affect a positive decision through prayer much more than you can through human voice. God bless you, and remember this little key, wit, W-I-T-T, -T, what is that to thee?